Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog where you can join me on our shared journey of trying to be productive during quarantine. The day starts at 9am when I wake up and do my usual thing of showering and changing into somewhat fresh clothing and decide that the first order of business is to tidy the house a little because it's a mess from yesterday's filming session wash up my various mugs, and generally become less of a slob. Somehow this ends up taking a solid hour, interrupted of course by procrastination on my phone. And then at 10 a.m. I have a catch-up call with my friend Zishan, a pediatrician who works in London and is the founder of the Unofficial Guide to Medicine series of books that I used to use as a medical student. We chat about our long-term plans, the pros and cons of a long-term career in medicine, active versus passive income, and a load of other stuff that gets me inspired and keen to pump out that productivity. At 11.15, I relocate to the sofa and get started with work, which today involves preparing a teaching session that I'll be delivering over Zoom in the afternoon around gastrointestinal physiology. Isn't that just so much fun? I start by scoping the subject by splitting it into three parts. Firstly, general gut physiology. Secondly, the upper gastrointestinal system. And thirdly, the lower gastrointestinal system. I'm making my revision presentation on Keynote, which is the Mac equivalent of PowerPoint for all you heathens out there. And I'm putting in material from three different sources. Firstly, the lecture slides. Secondly, the first aid USMLE step one book that I'm going through in the app PDF Expert. And thirdly, the various notes and questions I've made in Notion, who are incidentally kindly sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard, Notion is one of my favorite apps of all time, and I use it for tons of different things, including my medicine notes, planning videos, writing blog posts, tracking workouts, keeping track of all the stuff that I read, watch, and listen to, and taking notes on any date that I go on. In the past, you had to pay for a Notion account, and it was still totally worth it. But as of May 2020, Notion is now completely free of charge for personal use. So if you haven't got an account, do hit the link in the video description to sign up for the personal account, which is free forever with no limits on the blocks that you can add to it. Isn't that fantastic? Anyway, as you can see here, I've got the structure of the first topic mapped out in Notion. And in my previous study session, I dropped various notes and diagrams into the toggle blocks so that I could hide the information under questions for myself. So I'm now using those notes that I made for myself to build the teaching session for my students, which saves me a lot of time. I continue in this vein for the next 45 minutes, continuing to build up the revision presentation with these different sources. And then by half past 12, I find myself losing concentration. So I lie on the sofa for a few minutes doing absolutely nothing, and then decide to stop being a waste man and do some quick exercises to get my heart rate up and to bring me one step closer to my dream of becoming a Gymshark athlete. Once my arms are feeling sufficiently swole, I head over to the bedroom for a change of scenery. I change into my David Dobrik merch hoodie that's become my favorite hoodie of all time, and I crawl into bed with my trusty MacBook Pro. I spend a few minutes replying to YouTube comments because I'm such a nice guy, and then get back to work. In the next 45 minutes, I finish the revision presentation. And so from 1.15 to 2 p.m., I edit a script of an episode of Book Club featuring Atomic Habits by James Clear. Again, as usual, I'm using Notion, which is what my team and I use to plan all of our videos and business related things. So here I am going through our existing script and trying to add some more personal examples and casual elements to make it seem hopefully less scripted than it actually was, fingers crossed. From 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., my students and I run through a gastrointestinal physiology revision session. And then at the end, we blitz through some past paper questions to apply active recall to what we've just learned. I really like this teaching thing because rather than feeling drained by the end of it, I usually feel pretty energized. So I use this hype energy to my advantage and at 4 p.m. I sit down to do some guitar practice. I'm practicing one of the major scales, but trying to do it with minimal finger movement as my guru, Justin Guitar, advises. And then I do a few drills to increase my finger strength. I don't know why this sounds so weird. Afterwards, I knock out a cheeky cover of Hey There Delilah on the ukulele for my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on there if you care to see photos of me at work. Uh, behind the scenes stories from my life and various videos of my questionable singing. Once I've done my music sesh for the day, my discipline runs out and I lie on the sofa vegetating on my phone. I consider filming a new video briefly, but then my grandma calls me from Pakistan and tells me off for posting so many YouTube videos and implores me to focus on medicine instead. After the chat, I decide to give myself just five more minutes of doing absolutely nothing which inevitably turns into more than an hour of doing absolutely nothing. I take a brief break to empty the bins because the house is starting to smell. And then at 7 p.m. I get back on the sofa, this time switching gears to my iPad Pro and continue working through the script for the Atomic Habits video. I'm using Notion and Kindle in split screen to get quotes from relevant areas of the book. And by half past seven, the script is finally finished and ready to film. So I decide to take a break and cook for myself. Yes, that's right, friends. If I want to become a Gymshark athlete, I need to up my healthy eating game. This is a pesto-coated oven-baked cod with turmeric rice and salsa 
with fresh groceries delivered from Mindful Chef, a grocery delivery thing that I've been trying out recently. I follow the instructions to the T, and then by half past eight, food's ready, and I decide to throw productivity to the winds and watch an episode of Money Heist on Netflix. I'm actually still pretty hungry after this home-cooked meal because obviously they never give you big enough portion sizes, so I order an additional takeaway for the evening and proceed to watch another seven episodes of Money Heist there goes the dream of becoming a Gymshark athlete. It's been a pretty long time, to be honest, since I've done a TV show binge like this, and I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of missed it. I finally managed to tear myself away from it at half past two in the morning, having told myself just one more episode like four times in a row. It then takes me another hour to actually get to bed because I have to upload the files from this vlog to Google Drive, and of course, waste another 30 minutes of my life watching Logan Paul vlogs on YouTube, What Is Life? By this point, it's 3.20 a.m. and I'm pretty knackered. Thankfully, I'm on twilight shifts at work this week, which start at 4 p.m. and finish at midnight night so I can have a nice lie in tomorrow morning. And so ends this study with me day in the life and lockdown. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.